Chris Paul just recently did an interview, and I've earned and gained more respect for Chris Paul than I've had previously. I've always thought that Chris Paul was obviously one of the greatest point guards of all time. I've, I thought that he would definitely be a great addition for, you know, my team, Chicago Bulls, to actually go after from several different levels. I actually made that video already. But one of the questions that I had that come come to groups with this, has time passed them by? Has Chris Paul's ability to be who he needs to be, especially with how the injuries seem to rack up all every single it only seems to be in the playoffs for some odd reason. Like every single playoff, he could be healthy all the way up until that point, and then boom, here come here come like a, a mysterious hand or groin injury. Um but has has the sun pretty much set on his ability to be a champion point guard. I hate to say it, but I think so. I think Chris Paul now is one is going to be relegated to a ring chasing player if he continues to play. And that's not how I want him to go out. If I'm being honest. Now, obviously this is just my thoughts as a fan. He has his own uh, aspirations and things of that nature, but I don't think any of us want to see people who we held in high regard, be a shell of themselves and continue to try to stick it out for something. I think we saw, I mean, even though I think Jordan's wizard years were were still pretty good compared to the league at that time, no one wanted to see Jordan do it. No one wanted to see Kobe do it. That actually hurt me the most. No one wanted to see Kobe do it when his body wouldn't would, would give out. Uh, you know, I hope Brian doesn't do that. Like I saw Brian look finally look older. I don't want to see him do it. Like it's go out on top. And I think for Chris Paul, like he could retire now and there's nothing you can say about his resume. He's a he's a he's a top five, arguably top five point guard of all time. Like there's nothing you can say about it. You can't his sheer resume, even without that, doesn't mean that he's not a Hall of Famer. It doesn't mean that he hasn't been impactful. It doesn't mean he's not he doesn't have a good winning percentage. Like he he's still going to be considered a winner. He just won't be considered an cha- NBA champion. But he's still going to be a Hall of Famer. Like there's no unquestionably he's a Hall of Famer. So it's one of those things where I don't want him. Well, I don't want to see him extend his career that way. Now, there are some teams I feel like he could go to to probably make that happen. Like, honestly, you know, Chris Paul could probably depends on who, what what Chris Paul you're getting. But I mean, Chris Paul taking a vet ma'am if or however the number of money would go out. I highly doubt it'd be a vet ma'am. But like be a great addition for the Bucks to kind of set them up when Drew Holiday's not in. Be a great addition for that. And I could see them helping him get a championship. Like if he's going to go that route, the Warriors even, you know, have a, a point guard to officially run a half court set that's not predicated on just shooting a bunch of threes and mixing that up. I could see that kind of working. Like I could see Chris Paul in almost any situation with what he brings to the table. Really, and I could see him even staying in Phoenix and them just bringing in a, a healthier or younger guard in which he would play, you know, back up to as you know. As we've seen some people like kind of like like what Kyle Lowry does in Miami, like Kyle Lowry in Miami does doesn't start. But when he comes in, he's had some really big moments. And in the first beginning part of these playoffs, he's been a heck of a player. He's actually he was actually in one series. They're one of their better players. So, I mean, like I can see him playing that role and they're the same age. That, that's the role that they play. I just don't want to see him try to do too much and it just go completely wrong. And. You know, that's just me as a fan. I'm a fan of Chris Ball. I'm a fan of good basketball. I'm a fan of high IQ before I am, you know, a homer or anything like that. So I don't see, I just don't want him to go through that. To me, that would hurt me the most to see him do that. But I want to hear your thoughts, man. Do you think this has passed him by? I mean, realistically, we're talking about an older Chris Paul at a point guard position. I mean, it's kind of without question, he's a shell of himself. He's not the same Chris Paul as the Hornets. Like, He's not. But does that mean he can't be impactful? Absolutely not. There's a lot of teams that could still use his IQ. I think as from a from a uh, just from a motivational. How do I put this from someone who can actually motivate and educate your guys and like help develop? Chris Paul's done a heck of a job everywhere he's gone. Everywhere he's gone, people have developed. People have gotten better. Their IQ has grown. And those players give him credit for that everywhere he's gone. So he is a goat in that respect. Like that, I don't think there's many basketball minds that are better than Chris Paul. And so just having him in your locker room helps. It, it's still just ooh, 
Ooh, I can actually see him. I really wanted him to come to the Bulls. The reason why is because we have young guards who could use that tutelage, and we have no one in that position. Who, no one. I don't think we have anyone in our organization has been good at that position like he has. Like I think our best point guard ever was Derrick Rose. Yeah, for sure. Like, it was Derrick Rose. And no, we don't have that player on our staff. We don't have that player on our team, right? So to know how to play that role, to know how to orchestrate the offense, to, and it really run beautiful basketball and help your coach do run beautiful sets, we saw what Patrick Beverly was able to do. And even a, a 50% Chris Paul is better than 100% Patrick Beverly. I don't care what nobody says. So, like, just to see what he was able to – what that looked like with just some more competency at the position, I think Chris Paul would do a whole lot with it but i want to hear your thoughts do you think this is it for chris paul do you think chris paul is actually at the end of his rope like what are your thoughts where should he go what team would he actually be impactful on like we, i don't want to make it seem like it's just all kumbaya and he should just ride off in the sunset he can't be impactful but it has to be the right situation and i want to hear your thoughts on what those situations are whether it's love whether it's say i'll be in the comments we'll take we'll until next time man.